Exploring the way of the horse, equine archetypes for self-discovery. 24. Karios. Timing, opportunity, moments infused with meaning and choice. Emerging from a rainbow-coloured mist, a powerful horse approaches. Can you grab hold of his mane and leap upon his back before he moves beyond reach? It happens in a split second. The gift. When you're sensitive to timing, great strides are made with minimal effort. The challenge. The best laid plans can distract you from unexpected opportunities, yet you cannot force the issue. Sometimes you must wait patiently for an opening, then act without hesitation. The ancient Greeks had two concepts of time. Kronos, linear time, was measured by clocks, calendars and date books. Kairos, on the other hand, was more elusive. The youngest child of Zeus, Kairos was sometimes depicted with winged feet alighting precariously on a sphere. The great, that great old storyteller Aesop had him, balancing on a razor's edge, bald but with a lock of hair on his forehead. If you grasp him from the front, you might be able to hold him. But once he has moved on, not even Jupiter himself can pull him back. This is a symbol of tempus, Kairos. The brief moment in which things are possible. While this agile Greek god was depicted as a handsome young man, the equestrian's art thrive on in Kairos moments. It takes tremendous skill to balance on a powerful, at times fast-moving horse, leaping over obstacles, coordinating your own body to cue complex movements that in a split second, window of time, the animal needs to process and execute your request. Sometimes called horse time, karios moments also occur when you let go of human agendas and cultivate responsiveness. In Nicholas Evans' 1995 novel, The Horse Whisperer, the main character kneels down in a field with his traumatised subject, waiting patiently an entire afternoon before this horse slowly walks over to him and nuzzles his shoulder. The relationship improves exponentially. Loading a colt onto a trailer for the first time is yet another case where patience is a virtue. If you're willing to devote two hours to the project, the youngster may very well walk on in two minutes. If you pressure him to leap right up there, it may take you all day. Arguably the most difficult skill to teach in horse training, timing is also a major factor in human relationships. Noticing when someone is receptive and acting before the moment passes. It involves equal parts self-control, discernment, grace and abandon. The artful timing of that first kiss is a classic example. How do you sense when your date is ready? If you miss an invitation, you seem disinterested. If you grab this person too soon, you get slapped. The future of a long-term liaison can hinge on this one crucial exchange. Sometimes you can't quite muster the courage to act when the first cryos moment comes your way. And so you must wait for another, opening or suffer the consequences. Let's say a couple of colleagues feel that you've dropped the ball on a project, causing them extra work. They plan incessantly what they're going to say for days yet miss numerous opportunities to communicate during the staff meeting itself. Finally, as everybody's packing up and heading for home, you feel a sudden surge of desperation in the room, and these two friends, who seemed sedate yet preoccupied all afternoon, awkwardly confront you at the door. What might have been a minor glitch in your day suddenly turns into a hurtful exchange. 
Now, all of a sudden, something that could have been handled constructively becomes a long-term point of contention, simply because these people didn't have the nerve to speak when the opportunity arose, nor did they have the self-control and the fortitude to wait for the next appropriate moment. Here we open a whole new can of temporal worms, because people are in conflict, people in conflict are notoriously out of sync. The next day your colleagues apologise but you're not ready to forgive so you feel even less motivated to collaborate with them and they end up amassing more evidence that you're not as committed to the project as they are. And so the cycle continues. You feel betrayed by them, they don't trust you. Productivity drops and the <clears throat> office gossip mill heats up as others can't help but take sides. After a while, your supervisor can't decide if uh, who started it or who's at fault. The simple truth of the matter is that both sides failed to grasp those cross moments when greater understanding could have been achieved. Luckily, horses don't hold grudges when you miss the proper timing of a request and get a lower score on your dressage test as a result. These animals live in cryos time always open to the next meaningful opportunity for harmony and communication without holding on to what could have been. Every once in a while when your timing is just right, the two of you hit the zone where time seems to disappear altogether and you're riding in a heightened state of awareness. That sacred time where you feel suddenly in sync with the universe, where the reward becomes much more profound than a trophy or blue ribbon. It may last for a minute or an hour, but the elation is indescribable.